guys, welcome back. My name's Bill, this is Yoyo Tech, and today we're gonna... Today we're gonna take... Sorry. Today we're gonna take a look at notifications. Guys, thanks for coming back. If you haven't already, subscribe down below, click the bell if you want to be notified when new stuff comes out. Today we're going to take a look at notifications. Obviously, whenever you set up your home automation, notifications are going to be one of the first things you're going to want to do. And that's because you've done all of this work, you've set up lights, you've automations, your alarm system, great things are happening. You want to know what's going on. Kind of gives you some gratification to what you've been doing. One recommendation I have right off the top is don't overdo it. If you end up with too many notifications, this is true with any type of technology, you will end up ignoring them. It becomes useful information because the notifications flood in and you get to a point where you're just like swiping them away and you're not even paying attention to them. So you want to make sure you think out your notifications and you want to make sure that the notifications which are instant and which pop up in your face are ones that you want to see and you're going to react to. Because if you're getting too many of them, you're going to miss the important ones. So what I want to do is take a look within OpenHab today at how I manage my notifications. And I have three main ways of doing this. The first one is that I use OpenHab, uh, myopenhab.org, which is the cloud connector to OpenHab. And I use this for monitoring uptime and downtime of my OpenHab instance. So with the app installed on my phone, if my OpenHab in my house goes down or my internet goes down for any reason, this is monitored from an external website and I get a notification that pops up and says essentially things are offline. And it could be because OpenHab has gone down for some reason or another, or the internet is down. So this is kind of my first defense for just making sure I know what's going on. Now, the second thing I do is I use a service called Pushover. There's tons of other ones out there. This is one that I have settled on and I like. Super easy to set up. You go into the binding section within the paper interface. You just make sure that's installed. There's a little bit of a config that we add to a config file. Um, again, super easy. All you're going to do is copy the API secret and the IP API key from the pushover website into this file and you're up and running. And now all you need to do is jump into your rules within OpenHab and you can use this one little statement, pushover and your message, and that is going to send out messages. Now, I tend to use this one for things that I need instant notifications for, things like my alarm system is going off, maybe the, 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 the entry bell, uh, entry exit to my house, I like to use this one, so when someone arms or disarms my alarm. Uh, water leaks is a big area where I use this one. Definitely if, if something's leaking or something's going on that needs instant response, I want to see this one. And those tend to be the biggest places where I use my instant notifications. Again, I want to be really careful not to do too many of these because if I do, I'm going to find I'm just right out ignoring them. Now, the other thing I like is email notifications. Email notifications are great for two reasons. One is it gives you a point in time reminder of something that happened. So if I don't look at it every day or right at the spot, I can go back and say, hey, two days ago, what was going on? What was happening? I use this a lot when I'm on vacation or when I'm away from the house, when I don't necessarily have great internet connections or when I don't have my phone with me all the time and I just want to be able to look at night and make sure everything is as it should be and move on. So email is also very simple to set up. You essentially go into the paper interface, we go under bindings and we just enable the email or the email binding. This one, uh, I what I do to do this is I have created a script in OpenHab and essentially what I do is I put all of the items in there I'd wanna be notified about. Great thing about this is I can even grab the images from my uh, security cameras, from my Nest cameras and I can embed them in the email as an image so I can even get a little status or a point in time look at what things look like as far as my video cameras. And then I can call this script from any of my rules. So what I typically do is I have Part of my 11 o'clock last or my 11 o'clock lights out where I turn things off in the house, I also send that status message. That way, every night I kind of have a little point in time at 11 o'clock. What were all my temperatures? What were my doors? Were my garage closed? Were my locks locked? 
um, and what were my security cameras seeing. So I get that every single day. And the nice thing is, is this stays forever in my email and I can always look back. So if something were to come up a few weeks later and I thought, oh, what was going on then? I can jump back to that point in time and take a look at that email. So again, a super easy way to kind of monitor and get notified about what's going on with your home automation system without overkill. So those are the ways I like to set this up. Uh, there's obviously lots of different options for doing this. Take a look at them. Pushover is a fantastic app. It's actually free for, I think, the first few thousand a day uh, notifications. So if you're going over that, I, I honestly think you're doing something wrong. Uh, the app costs a few dollars to buy the first time, but obviously it's a one-time cost and off you go. And take a look at their integration list. If you're running other services in your house, uh, perhaps Plex or something like that, you can also use Pushover for those as well. So guys, thank you so much for listening today. Um, again, subscribe if you haven't done that already. Check out some of my other videos and we will see you in the next one.